So what are my top three tips for winter disc golf? Well, stay tuned to find out. So welcome back to Poor Boy Disc Golf. And today I'm gonna to be talking about the top three tips I have for winter disc golf. Now with the uh, cold weather coming in, uh, it's getting a little bit chilly. I haven't been able to go out and play that many rounds because of the weather. It's either raining, it's cold, or it's blowing really bad. You know, the wind has been horrible the last couple weeks. Uh, but today I kinda of wanna give you the three tips. Now before we start, uh, if you're uh, new to the channel, uh, if, if you like the content and everything, hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to like this video. Uh, so basically, what does the cold do to a disc? Uh, now, a disc, it makes it... Uh, the cold has a significant impact on the disc. We'll take a prime judge, for instance. Uh, it's it's more solid it doesn't flex as well it does flex but not as well uh, so basically what this will do is during the winter this won't fly as far it's gonna be more overstable and it's gonna be more brittle it's gonna be more hard so that means it's more likely if you hit a tree it's gonna crack or it might even shatter uh, so the top three tips is gonna help you with this and let's get into it. So number one is uh, basically a no-brainer is uh, keeping warm. Uh, you don't have to keep your disc warm because it doesn't matter as soon as you throw it through the air it's gonna go right to that temperature. Uh, but you have to be warmed up yourself. Now the key to this is you know do your warm-ups uh, make sure you stretch, you warm up, you get loosened up and everything before you do your main round or you go out and play. Uh, the main reason is because since the disc doesn't have that much, it's got the, the cold to, uh, it's got the cold to make the, the air denser and it's not going to fly as far. So you have to be able to, to kind of make up for it in a way. But if you're in like a long sleeve shirt, you got a jacket on, you're going to be less likely to throw as far because you're going to have a little bit of, uh, I guess you could say cushion and and variables in your way. So the one thing is to keep warm, you know, uh, keep your hands warm is another thing because your hands will get cold really fast. So I suggest hand warmers, uh, gloves whenever you're not throwing. I recommend something for your ears and your face if you can, which now that COVID's here, you can wear a face shield pretty well. Uh, you know, as far as jacket, I would just do it in layers and maybe do a light jacket or, or a hoodie on top of a sweatshirt and just go from there. But yeah, that's uh, tip number one is stay warm. So my second tip would be change your plastic for winter. Now, you don't have to, but I, I do every year. I switch from, uh, I switch from a little bit stiffer plastic into the little softer plastic. Now, what I mean by that is like dynamic disc, uh, if I throw a prime or a classic or something like that, I might want to throw a fusion or a biofusion even. I do have a, a biofusion judge that I do throw during, or not judge, but a justice I throw during the winter. Uh, the only problem with that one is, is it's way too overstable, but I make it work. But, uh, you know, different companies have different plastic. Uh, during the winter, I suggest, you know, going from a hard plastic to a little bit softer plastic. Because, you know, even with the Fusion plastic, it's going to be a little bit more stiff when you're out there playing. Uh, all plastics do, you know, there's no getting around of it. But like Innova has the uh, G-Star plastic. It's really good. Uh, I think Discraft has a, has a little bit of a flexible one, I know. Mo most of your disc golf companies do. Uh, it's usually kind of uh, right there in the middle of the price range. Uh, it's not their top shelf, but it's like right in the middle shelf. But yeah, I suggest go to a uh, more of a flexible plastic during the winter. So tip number three is being be careful during the winter. 
you know, these winter disc golf. Uh, what I mean by that is dress warm, wear proper foot uh, footwear. Uh, I usually switch to more of a hiking shoe, something that's got a lot of tread and a lot of grip because sometimes the tee pads have got ice on them. Uh, it's usually slippery, uh, just variables. Uh, another thing to go with, along with that would be uh, being careful is don't go out and try to get that thousand foot drive. I know not very many people can, but I'm just saying don't try to go out there and just drive the heck out of your out of your disc. Don't try to throw them with all your might. You know, winter's kind of a thing where it's better to work on your upshot, work on your technique, work on your form, uh, work on shots that you are tr struggling with, like an Anheuser shot, or if you want to do a big hyzer, maybe you want to work on rollers, you know, this is the time to do it. Uh, so that's what I mean by, like, be safe. Don't go out there and just try to, you know, use all your force and try to get it out there and try to ace every hole, you know. Kind of back down, you know, see if you can get it to do something else. Maybe you can make it do a flex line or something, you know, or or you want to do a roller that'll get up, go up a hill, you know, or down a hill and get you what you need. But yeah, that's my uh, third tip. So I hope you like the tips. Uh, I'll add a, I'll add a little bonus is uh, if it snows and uh, and you uh, got to go out and throw, when you get your disc, go ahead and put a uh, tape a piece of ribbon on the bottom or on the top of it. That way you can find your disc in the snow. So yeah, I hope y'all like these uh, three tips. Uh, if you would, uh, subscribe to the channel and hit that like button below. And as always, this is Poor Boy reminding you, play the sport and grow the sport that is disc golf. Thanks for watching.